Well, good afternoon. Actually, it's getting late afternoon, almost early evening here on a Saturday. We've been busy as usual, getting ready for the Lord's Day tomorrow. It's going to be a big day here at the Lighthouse Chapel as we have our Lighthouse Chapel Church family Christmas dinner together. And uh, we're just going to have a great time after worship of uh, gathering together in the beautiful Beacon of Love Activity and Social Center where we love to come together and share our lives and our love. So it's going to be a great day here at the Lighthouse Chapel tomorrow. I don't know whether you have a church home or not, of course, because I don't know who's sitting here watching and hearing me today. But I would say that if you're in the Kansas City area and you don't have a church home, a place where you call your church, well, we'd love to have you come and worship with us tomorrow and stick around and enjoy a nice lunch with us and get acquainted. Uh, we just think we're a pretty good bunch of people by the grace of God and because of the love that he's put within our heart for our fellow man. Well, I know as we've been talking the last few days, we're in the middle of the Christmas season and what a joyous time of the year it should be. Uh, often, more often than not, we get pretty stressed out over it, but we still ought to recognize that it is a joyous time of the year because we are coming up upon the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And what that means to us today is that we have a Savior. Now the Bible tells us that all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. And how true it is, we are sinners. We're sinners by birth. We've inherited the sin nature from Adam our father after Adam and Eve fell in the Garden of Eden. While well, that sin was passed on to all of his uh, all of his descendants, and we are all a descendant of Adam, of course. And so we're sinners by nature. Sin entered into the world by one man, and that sin was passed on to all men. And uh, we just can't escape the fact that we are sinners. The Bible says, there's none that doeth good, no, not one. All we like sheep have gone uh, astray. We've turned to our own way. And uh, so, you know, the Bible portrays mankind as a pretty despicable specimen. And so we are sinners by nature, and we're sinners, of course, by our actions. Uh, we find that at a very early age, uh, we see disobedience and we see rebellion in the hearts of our children. And, and unless that is checked, while we find that that spirit of rebellion and that disobedience carries right on down throughout their life. And truly we know that uh, because we have the sin nature, well, we uh, are rebellious. And because we have the sin nature, we are often disobedient. We simply do not want to submit to the authority of God. And then we oftentimes are sinners by choice. You know, we choose to do wrong. And, uh, of course, there's the powerful influence, the frailty of the human flesh, uh, the weakness that we have. And uh, so, you know, we're all sinners. There's no way to get around the fact that we're sinners. God looked down upon the world, and he saw that uh, we were a bunch of sinners. But he wasn't going to give up on us, even though we were sinners. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world. And the Bible says of Jesus that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So I'm glad that Christmas means that we have a Savior. We have somebody that can save us from our sin. The Old Testament prophet said that it's name, if I don't guess it's the prophet, it's the angel. Uh, thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. So I'm glad that Christmas means a Savior today. And don't you dare forget that it's all about a Savior that came into the world to save us from our sin, to reconcile us to God, and to give us a position in eternity in a place called heaven. Heavenly Father, thank you that you sent a Savior into this world we just thank Thee, O God, that He is able to save to the uttermost them that come unto Him. Bless throughout the evening, bless in the Lord's house tomorrow, wherever we meet together, in Christ's name, amen. All right, you'll be in a place of worship tomorrow, and I'll see you Monday on the Lord Light's devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.